Hey, how's it going? By clicking on this video, you probably already know this is the Ampua floaty market out in Thailand, home of the Krispy Krab, the Pad Thai noodles, and the fish looking pillow. And this guy who that refuses to take this money. She's like, come on, just, just take my cash. Day four in Thailand. Oh, and there goes another coconut. Oh, we got some runaway coconuts. This here is nuts, guys. It's the Ampua Floaty Market. All along this small stream, you have all of these food boats just constantly cooking all this fresh smelling food and I don't know how they sell it all, but I am down to eat it all. To grab yourself a tasty bite, just head over to this large bridge that you'll see and then you have these steps that just lead you right to the boats. You can't miss them. Now I know all the people the boats, the noise, you know, that could be quite overwhelming. So you could just head back over to your homestay within walking distance and kick back and relax in front of the stream. And speaking of kicking back and cooling down, nothing hits the spot like that, such as mango sticky rice. Woo, let me tell you, if you haven't had it yet, it is aloe ma. I mean, it is delicious. Uh, this here is the main market. So again, you got that bridge, you have all of these uh, vendors uh, right across the bridge. So this is where they sell uh, jewelry. They got souvenirs. So basically let's call it what it is. It's a tourist trap. Even these, uh, let's pause, these are not actual fish. Uh, they're actually pillows. And we did buy one for our cat. And look at this one lady. She's just trying to give her cash. This guy's all trying to be discreet about it. Like, seriously, what's inside those pillows? <clears throat> Well, I will tell you what's not inside these pillows, and that ain't catnip. Like our cat Gus was looking at this uh, fish like, meh, it's all right. Ah, and I gotta throw in this little plug here. Uh, if you are liking this video, please uh, hit that like button, and if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to support uh, more of these videos. All right, so this is one of uh, my favorite spots uh, in the market. This is where we uh, had our pad thai as well as we got a coconut milk. Nice seating area. Again, you can see all of the boats, uh, all of the people, everything just coming by from this location. Uh, walking by, we have people cooking and hmm, I, I think there's way too much meat on that grill. Just kidding. Uh, oh, and there we are. There's the prize right there. Mm-hmm. What is that? It's calamari? Squid? Yeah, sorry, I can't really tell. iPhone 6S life right here. And oh, and these big buckets, which someone apparently started using as a trash can. Don't you hate it when people do that? But yeah, and here's all of the uh, boats right over here. I love just the colors that they um, paint these things in. Just so beautiful to see. Uh, even after sunset, this market is still alive and well, so this is a great place to go even if you like to stay up late. Although it does eventually wind down, and if you need a place to stay, we stayed at the Ampoa at Casa uh, homestay. So this spot uh, was about three levels, nice uh, little um, deck that they have facing this small stream, which leads to the uh, floating market. And this is where you can meet other guests, enjoy some sun during the day, and in the morning, because you're at the homestay, uh, the owners of you know the homestay, they actually cook you a very, very solid, I mean, this is a really, really impressive breakfast. We have some crispy things going, we got fresh fruits. My favorite was actually the fresh noodles uh, to have for breakfast, so nothing beats a plate of noodles in the morning. Nor can you beat the ants. Nope, the ants are always superior. They own this coffee bar and pretty much run the joint, so get used to them. Would you like some sugar? Yeah, thanks. You know what, I'm okay. Uh, fun story is even in the room, uh, they had ants, so we brought in these wonderful pastries uh, from the market. And actually, 
This is at nighttime on the deck, which you can enjoy, and here's a boat across the vine. But the ants actually found the pastries upstairs in our room overnight, so um, don't keep food uh, open uh, in your room. Uh, they do have not only ants, but they even have swans in your room. Well, towel swans. Uh, in addition, they also have uh, free Wi-Fi. Yes, Wi-Fi in the rooms uh, also. Uh, what's this, Frank Manger? The Wi-Fi possible? We're not savages. Uh, as it is, you know, it's a nice, simple uh, homestay. Uh, all you get is a padlock, but that's all you need for your room. And I'll take you for a walk uh, from our room on the top level to go back down to where the lobby, the deck, and where they serve the breakfast. Uh, I do apologize. You know, this is no GoPro. It's a 6S that I had at the time, so the video will be a little wobbly. But here is the view from the top. I mean, look at this um, just gorgeous stream that you have. Yeah, no better place to stay, and the price was amazing too. So we're gonna go down these bamboo steps over here. We've got more rooms for here. You know, one thing that you do get, let me tell you, you get a workout, especially if you're in and out. All right, here we go. So we have uh, this nice lobby, this is where you check in as well. They do actually offer massages that you can book for yourself too, so they have some massage beds right over here. Oh, and then here's actually where you could find um, a place to stay. You could go online, maybe book it in advance, or they also give you a Facebook link. At least they had it at the time. Uh, outdoors, again, you have other homestays that are nearby, so you don't have to stay at this one. There is plenty along the entire floating market. So how far is it from Bangkok? Well, the Ampua floating market's roughly about 90 kilometers, which takes you about an hour and a half driving, at least according to the maps here. And I actually forget exactly what it took us, but um, we took actually the route from uh, Pattaya, so we did not actually come from Bangkok. So I'd say about an hour, hour and a half plan for that. Here is the location of the Atkasa, and then you can actually see this small stream. This is the one that we saw in the videos, and the stream leads to the Ampua floating market. And this stream actually flows out to actually another uh, much larger river called the uh, May Kong River. Uh, but this other river is actually quite uh, large, although we didn't spend any uh, time over at the Mekong um, River over here. But I'll show you a video. I think it's the video or the photo of the mango sticky rice that shows this river. All right, folks, that's all I got. But I hope you have a chance to visit Thailand. And if you are out there, especially in Bangkok, uh, make the drive over to the Ampua Floating Markets. Uh, you'll definitely enjoy the experience. All right, folks, uh, stay safe, have fun traveling. We'll see you back for another video. Thank you.